This is a composting toilet that I designed and built. Uh, the main frame is 2x4s. Use carriage bolts here that pass through two 2x4s and then there's a washer and a nut on the inside. Tried to make it as sturdy but as light as I possibly could. The uh, seat will go up. There's a 2x4 here to hold that. Go back down the toilet or the bucket just slides right out the front, and we put a uh, two by two up under here on one side of the bucket and one on the far side, and then there's one here too, so it goes right into the perfect place as long as you push it back far enough. And the two by twos up here keep it uh, lined up with, for the bucket. I also left a gap on the top of the bucket. Supposedly, if you put sawdust and things in, they're not supposed to stink, but just in case it did, left a little bit of a gap. It's probably half of an inch on the top, so I could slide a piece of plywood in there and seal up the bucket when you're not using it. Also added a piece of plastic here, just be easier to, for cleanup. This is a prototype. They have made the hole a little bit too big for the bucket. But this is an experiment, just testing things out here now. But uh, attaching the toilet seat, uh, just like you would a regular toilet, the plastic bolts, come on, there we go. This one right through, this is a uh, three quarter inch plywood here. Uh, this is a two by four down there. And you can see there the 2x4 on the bottom and the ends of the bolts. And bolts, my experience have been, they hold better than screws because they, they clamp. Because you have the head here, the nut and the wash here, they're clamping that together. If you're using a screw and run two screws in that are maybe two, two and a half inches long, you're relying on the threads of the screw to hold that together. This way it's clamping. In my experience, been it's, it's a lot stronger. But uh, I'm gonna put a coat of paint on this. This is actually screwed. Screwed this on, this one wasn't crucial. It's just to hold it and to hold the lid when it opens. But I'm gonna put a, a coat of paint, white paint on it, of uh, actually probably two or three coats. It'll look nicer. Easier to clean up if necessary. And uh, anything, let's see. Um, this will be, when it's used, the waste will add sawdust to it to keep the smell down. I guess you can add vinegar to also keep the smell down. This is experimental, like I said, but this is actually at my parents' cabin and we have an outhouse, so that's where we'll dump the waste into when the bucket gets half full or quarter, whichever there again, we'll just have to see what works out. But uh, I will uh, get some paint on here and uh, I'll show you how that looks. I put two coats of paint on the composting toilet and show you a little bit more on the structure. I used two by fours because I wanted to be as sturdy as possible. Uh, there's the two by twos underneath that will uh, guide where the five gallon bucket is gonna go and uh, use those bolts to hold everything together. I, I glued it too, but I need to put the toilet seat and the cover back on. But uh, other than that, it's ready to go. We put uh, three inches of sawdust in the bottom and uh, haven't used it yet, so now it's ready to go. We've been using the composting toilet for a couple months now and uh, it works great. Uh, one thing we've discovered once in a while, need to add some baking soda. That absorbs odors. And we use sawdust, which is primarily from pine. And uh, what we discovered is generally put in about a half an inch of sawdust. 
and whenever the sawdust gets wet you can see that it's wet you need to add sawdust but it, it, it works fantastic all right thanks for watching please subscribe like and share and leave a comment below have a great day